Talk With Me. We continue our series ahead of the mayoral election. Tonight, we speak with the homeless and what they want to say to Toronto's next mayor. This is Allen Gardens. It is a park in the heart of the city's east end. There are roughly 89 people living here in tents. So when I walked up, you were barbecuing and you were feeding people. Yes. Is this a community for you? This is my, this is a community uh, and it's also family. Lynn Walker has been living in the park for the last 21 months. She's 63 years old. You're kind of like everybody's mom, I think. Mom, mayor. Sister, friend, yes. Yeah. Lynn maintains most people in the park would leave if they had one thing. They need a place to live. Uh, um, they don't, shouldn't have to live in a park. Uh, is, it, is it safe here? I feel safe. There are many issues though. There's no running water, no bathrooms, rats burrow under the tents. There are also fights, stealing, and yes, drug issues. People OD'd here? Yes, um, there are. So there's sadness here too. There is sadness and mental health. How long do you think you can stay here? Um, I don't know, that depends on the city. If they're gonna come and bulldoze all our tents. The city did move in and evict encampment residents from parks two years ago. Activists condemned the move, as did Toronto's ombudsman. It may be why this encampment remains. Ever since city councillor Chris Moyes was first elected eight months ago, he's been trying to find the balance between housing the homeless and respecting frustrated local residents who want their park back. There's a lack of housing across the city, period. We know that there is a uh, Crisis. He says he's managed to get 60 people out of the park and housed. At one point, three or four months ago, there were just 11 people living in Allen Gardens, but new ones came and replaced them. An overwhelming, never-ending need. In the last few days, he has secured 50 shelter beds, but many here don't want to be in a shelter. I believe that a shelter is much safer than a park. They do need wraparound services, I agree. Again, shelter is not the ultimate goal here. I mean, it's a stopgap to permanent housing. What would you like the new mayor to know? People, know, people need housing in the city. Um, um, they don't just need housing, they need clean housing. They need space. They need kindness. They need respect. And they need love. There are an estimated 10,000 people who are homeless in this city and about 1,500 live in parks or on the streets. Advocates say 221 died on the streets in Toronto last year. Cynthia Mulligan, City News.